Welcome back everybody. Today we're taking a look at StarMade Alpha, dev build 0.1712. Um, a few things have been changed this time. Um, Lichgrave is somewhere and he's going to hello. hello and he's going to demonstrate the uh, or gate and the activation block now sense when tri uh, when inventories are empty or full um, respectively uh, when a player just simply uh, takes or puts in so what he's doing there with the or it looks for an empty state so as he puts it in it'll turn the light on and as he takes it out making it empty again it makes it turn off so that's your empty indicator and then if he, the other side I'll just quickly show you is full of purple lights just one in each that counts as full so if you take one of them out the light comes on so it can tell if it is empty or not empty and full or not full simply by a player just putting it in very useful for mini games trap doors whatever um, yeah it's gonna be great so that is number one next schema has given us the power of block orientation while in astronaut mode so let's check that out um, basically if I get a wedge and I hold left control the orientation is coming up in the bottom right corner so I can stick one like this and I can stick one like this and I can stick one like this it's no problem for me and it's no problem for you either so now you can orient blocks without a build block from astronaut mode it's gonna be very useful uh, also for building on asteroids so yeah uh, we're gonna give that one a quick go so we're gonna put the first one down and we're gonna rotate it rotate it again yep confirm so this is going to be great cause before you couldn't orient blocks without a little trickery at least so it's going to make it a lot easier for people to uh, go ahead and build on asteroids which opens things up okay so when both ships are level if lichgrave could just push uh, just push c and then jump out he's oriented this way so if you jump back in again now and then turn well yeah yeah turn look up like and then get out see you're facing the right way now so just try like getting in and turning the core in a funny angle and then get out you know to try and twist the player that's it see he seems to be always standing the right way yeah Oh, it's all right. They all died. Oh, hell, wow. <laughs> uh, that works. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, my. Oh, my. Sorry, General. This ship was not hit. No missiles made it through. That's beautiful. This is going to be great to demo. Have you got wow. all of the... Yeah, flak wall. Boom. The green tree! Oh. Welcome back everybody. Today we're taking a look at StarMade 0.1714 and uh, we've all got a couple more things to show you from this dev build. Got a little ship just sort of hidden away over here. Medical cabinets. Lights happen. But now what we've got is we've set this up. So if I uh, open this there's something in it if I take something out of it there you go so right now no lights the blue means that it's ready but there's nothing in it okay so basically blue it's fully empty so if I just put something in it green light so that means it's filling up when it's full red light comes on now I was thinking you could use the logic to actually close um, close a filter and then that would cut off any supply to the chest or to the uh, to the plex storage but basically what I'm going to do is quickly show you the new feature so if I just move my ship away from the station I already copied one of these so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look it up in my templates so I'm going to go um, load I'm going to say table and no storage shelf okay now if I click here 
<laughs> with paste on. That usually helps. There we go. I have got a shelf. Even though for some reason it said not enough blocks. But whatever. If I uh, now put a symmetry mode, so take paste off, put a symmetry line down. I'm actually going to put another symmetry line down there. Click paste when I do it. <laughs> Null pointer. Okay, guys. So just here, basically, what you can see is I put the uh, put the uh, container shelf down, and uh, despite the fact that I actually ran out of blue lights, so the blue lights are missing, it's actually done exactly what I wanted to do. So I put down a quadruple thingy, a quadruple triple symmetry. Hell yes. And uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shelves, and they are all rotated correctly so um, that pretty much covers the logical uh, symmetry copy paste so basically copy paste with symmetry so that means yes you can take a copy of half of your ship and then you can symmetry on it the other side of your ship if you want you think your ships too wide copy a third of it and paste it over a new core with symmetry boom you've got a narrower version of the same ship so yeah, that's going to be... No um, excuses for poor overall shape now. <laughs> what I've done here is Black we've wall. made some swarm missiles. Black wall? And Flak wall! Okay, get ready. Alright. Okay. We're going to distance for best demo. I'm at about 600 meters. Okay, Give ready? Fire when ready. Firing. Oh... Oh yes, they are gone. I'm gonna fire again. Hold on, I'm just watching it on the stream real quick. <laughs> it's going. It's going. Perspective. Oh. Oh no! One of them hit. One of them hit. <laughs> One of them hit. No, oh, that was my flak wall. Oh, was it? Oh, okay. No, sorry. I was saying the Yelby. Look at that, guys. Those turrets are chugging away. So let Okay, so here we are taking a quick look at Dalmont's ship. Um, effectively, you can now check out the new AI setting. Uh, towards the light. There we go. Yep. Right, so currently aim at missiles. Okay, beautiful. So there's the setting. All you have to do is set your turrets to missiles. And don't worry, we know you can't do it all as one. So that's going to come. Uh, we'll just set AI on that. Let me, yeah, and let me, we can AI both ships and I'll grapple on yours. Good idea, chat. Sprites we have on the screen. There's oh, there we go. There we go. That's the, yeah, yeah look. Oh, get closer to it, buddy. Get closer. Good man. Oh, yes, it was just a range issue. Now we're getting the shots. Look at that. That is beautiful. Keep your keep 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 yeah, good man. Oh yes, it was just a range issue. Now we're getting the shots. Look at that. That is beautiful. Keep your keep 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 yeah. It's like a green tree, man. Oh. Oh damn it! Oh my god, that was right in front of my face when it got destroyed. Come on, I want to see more missiles. Oh no. Damn on! Damn on! <laughs> oh, you got them all that time. Do you know what? That little thing's doing a good job of demoing right now. Got the shots that we wanted. You get the idea. And I'm dead! <laughs> oh. So I think that's probably a great place to end the demo. Welcome back everybody. Today we're in StarMade Alpha Dev Build 0.1716. It is the 26th of September and I'm here to show you one of the new features I've got it already I tested every angle I could around the ship basically we've got uh, copy paste rotation okay and preview so if I hit left control go into advanced build mode hit the load button and then I'll pick something I made earlier called wedge lights it's a very simple 3x3 three three or 3x1x3 three I click paste and here we go. You must remember two important things. One, it's not going to work right now because I've got my gun selected. So roll off your gun in the hot bar. It won't let you place anything or set symmetry points as well for that matter. So 
make sure you've got something selected that is buildable. Then, we've got the mouse. We've got this here, and as you can see, it's previewing the, uh, the uh, schematic, which I copied, which is new and very nice. So now what I can do, I can use page down and page up to rotate this. So if I go click it here, and click it here, that's all very well and good. If I want to rotate it in a different direction, shift will allow you to use page down and page up to rotate it that way, see? Shift flips it around that axis. So I could, for example, put one here, and then put one there. Okay, and then we could use control and make it roll. So control and page down, make it roll, so we can make it go like that, and then let's get some symmetry in the mix, so take paste mode out, and put in some symmetry lines, so let's see, we'll put one here, and then we'll put one here, down the middle, and then we'll get paste again, and let's see, we'll put one, let's just rotate it back to there, so I'll put one there, rotate it round, put another one there, and then we'll come out of paste mode and just go around checking that the logic is still hooked up. That's good, that's good, 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 even on the symmetry it's fine, good, good, and good. If I go underneath, even though it's uneven, you know, it's not the same on the top as it is underneath. We have still got some of it. If there's no block in the way, it'll put one down. Um, so, yeah, uh, there it is. Basically, building with symmetry, copy-paste, and rotation. So that does mean that if you enhance the build restriction up to whatever you want in your single player, you could actually copy your entire ship, rotate the schematic, and put it down on a new core thereby being able to rotate and move the core. Um, amongst many other things, because obviously if the symmetry mode, you know, you could just copy half of a ship and make it narrower um, because of the symmetry. Or just you could take a quarter of the ship and rotate it and make it the back half. There's so many things that you can do um, with this. And with the preview, that's making it even more awesome uh, and making it easier for you to get your awesome chairs in the game the same every time bear in mind if you don't have the blocks this will happen as you can see my chairs are missing the pentas and tetras because i don't have them in my inventory um, and also this does open up the ability for people to actually use shape building so if i get an abstract shape and as you can see when we paste all it is is this it's just four blocks and a squiggle by using a combination of rotation you can kind of build Tetris style so and hopefully there will be transitioning so if I just change that pattern again change it again oops and change it again and obviously it's going to overlap, so... And then what do we end up with? We end up with this. And like I say, they can be positioned anywhere, made in any shape or pattern. If you know a little bit about intersection and stuff, these copy tools are going to be really powerful for people. So, Undo is your friend, as always, for trying out new stuff. and use the power of symmetry wisely. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you all next time.